So it's going to be very important to use these chips correctly. Uh, if I just sent you some samples, you definitely want to take some time reading the instructions, getting a good understanding of how these chips are used, how they're placed, and what makes them most effective. So uh, a couple of the key points that we really like to touch on before we even sample the chips out to people uh, are three things, location, duration, and hydration. So location, let's touch on that a little bit. Um, there are different acupuncture points and different acupressure points that you use for, for example, the sleep chip, the rest quiet chip, or the pure energy energy chip. And, uh, and, and you place those on specific acupuncture points on your body. For example, the, uh, the energy chip works very well when you place it like right on, right just below your collarbone. You could put one on or you can put one on each collarbone. Uh, right about, right about there is a good spot where you can feel the collarbone where it is. You put it about a little bit underneath and that will, uh, give you an optimum benefit. Uh, another spot you can put it on is directly on the sternum, and this is for the energy chip once again, directly on the sternum, almost like you think of it this way uh, when you think of the chest bone or the breast bone, hard, 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 soft, and you put it right on that soft spot, okay, so that's a very, very effective spot for the pure energy chip for women as well. Um, the rest quiet chip, the rest quiet chip you want to put on probably about an hour before you go to bed, half hour before you go to bed. Um, Ideally, what I do is I'll put one chip right on my right or left temple, like right on the soft spot. That is a great acupuncture point or pressure point for sleep. And you put it right on there. That's a great spot for the rest quiet chip. The pure relief chip, which has uh, been categorized as our discomfort chip, which helps to relieve any type of chronic pain issue, whether it be migraines, arthritis pain, lower back issues, shoulder, knee, joint issues, migraine headaches, anything like that. The way that that chip works is you actually put that chip directly on the point of pain. So if you can put your finger on where the pain is coming from, okay, let's say you got a pain in your shoulder and you can put your finger on where that pain is coming from, that is where you want to put the chip. If you want to put a second chip on, you can put the chip on the other side. So basically you're sandwiching the pain with chips, okay. Uh, same thing uh, with the migraine headache. If you got a migraine headache right here, you can feel it right here on your head. That's where you put the chip. I've actually had some people uh, put a chip. They, they've got a migraine headache right in the middle of their head, and they put a chip like right on each part of their head to kind of sandwich the pain. Same thing with your knee issues. Uh, if you are sampling the uh, allergy chip, which is one of our newer chips that we just released, uh, a perfect spot for that is right behind the right earlobe, literally right behind the earlobe in that little soft indentation right behind your ear. Uh, that is where you want to put the allergy chip. Okay, so that's location. Duration. If I've sent you two chips, each chip lasts for two to three days. So let's say each chip lasts for three days. If I sent you two chips, that's good for six days. If I've sent you three chips, that's going to last you for nine days. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about duration. Now, each chip will last you about three days. So what you want to do is, uh, let's say, for example, you're using the energy chip. You put the energy chip on the, in the morning. You can take it off and put it aside, put it back on the wax paper, and then use it again the next day. Do the same thing, take it off at night, and then put it back on the next day. And you could use it for three days. Then you can throw it out and then use a new one. Okay. Uh, same thing for the sleep chip. You use the sleep chip, you put it on about uh, an hour or 30 minutes before you go to bed, and you uh, take it off in the morning. You can put it off to the side, put it like on a, put it alongside your bed, uh, along, along your bed post or something like that, somewhere where you know you can grab it again. Uh, I think ideally you just keep that wax paper that the adhesive is on when you first get it, and just take it off of there, and then when you take it off, put it back on there when you're not using it. Um, and same with the pain chip. You could keep the pain chip on constantly all you want. Water doesn't affect any of these chips. You can keep them on in the shower. It doesn't bother them whatsoever, but they are an adhesive. So what I do recommend is that you uh, you take it off because you don't want to you know get out of the shower and realize that it's missing. So you can take it off and put it back on. Another thing is uh, you want to make sure that they stick well. 
So make sure that you don't have any lotion, you're not sweaty, your skin's not oily when you put the chip on. If you put the chip on, give it some time to set, then it will. you'll actually have to literally have to peel it off uh, like you would a Band-Aid uh, when you're taking it off. So I find a lot of people that tell me, oh, the chip just fell off or, you know, it, it didn't stay on. A lot of times it's because, you know, either their skin was oily or sweaty or they had lotion on their skin when they first put it on. So it's not a super duper strong, super glue type adhesive. Uh, it's a very mild adhesive. Um, so, so you definitely want to put it on and make sure that it stays on. Uh, so keep the skin dry. So the last part that I want to talk about is hydration. And this is very important because as we all know, uh, the cells in our body work, they work on an electromagnetic level. And every cell in your body has a positive charge and a, le and a negative charge, just like a car battery. So, for example, what do you need in order to make your car battery run? You also need to have water in your battery. Same thing with your body. So uh, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you're very well hydrated, very well hydrated when you use these chips. Don't drink a lot of soda. Don't drink a lot of coffee. Don't drink a lot of tea. They have caffeine. A lot of them have a lot of sugar, and that actually dehydrates you. So you definitely want to have good quality water and stay very hydrated. It makes the chips work longer and faster and more effectively. Now, I don't want to put anything in your head in terms of results, but everyone's results are different. I mean, I've had testimonial over testimonial over testimonial from people that have noticed benefits within two or three days. And in most cases, I've had people find results from using these chips within two or three minutes. So just depending on how out of balance your body is and how quickly your body responds to these chips, and how quickly your body's natural, ener natural energy flow responds to these chips, that's going to be based on how fast you respond to how they work. So give them some time, make sure you use them, and stay very hydrated, and you'll like the response that you get. You'll like the effect that you get from it. So um, enjoy it, use it, um, contact me after, contact me when you've received the chips so that I know that you received them. And then uh, also contact me again because I'd like to hear your story. I mean, uh, it's just great hearing all these different stories and different testimonials from people that have been using these chips and, you know, in some instances are, are able to minimize the type of medication that they're using. And in several cases, I found a lot of people have had, had the opportunity to eliminate and wean themselves off of a lot of the pain medication, sleep medication, and, and all the energy drinks and caffeine and all that stuff that they need to help them get through the rest of their day. So uh, contact me. Keep in touch with me. Let me know how you like it. I'd love to hear your story and uh, have a great day.